Hello, my name is Charlie Nyman and I'm going to be showing you the UC suite for the NEC SV9100 voice server. This suite of applications will make you better informed and more productive in your daily interactions with fellow employees and customers. In this demo, I'll be focusing on the following capabilities. One, communicating with people outside your organization. And two, communicating with coworkers. While I don't have a separate section in the demo on desktop call control, note how I will rarely even have to touch my telephone. You're viewing my desktop, which is paired with my desk extension 101. So let's get started. I'm getting a call from one of my customers, John Class at Future Designs, and before I even answer it, I know that I'm going to be talking to John. John's a customer. John always asks for free freight. His wife's name is Donna, and he's a big fan of the Chicago Bears football team. Who wouldn't want to know all of this when they answer a call with one of their customers? Well, I sure do. So let's take a look at a couple other things I can do right from my desktop. Let me finish this call with John. He needs to talk to Morgan in order processing. I'm going to send him over to her, but I want to give her a heads up that John is a VIP customer. To transfer John to Morgan within Outlook, all I need to do is click on Morgan's contact record, go up to this toolbar. Now I said I wanted to do a supervised transfer. That's where I get to introduce the caller to Morgan. And I'm going to transfer John to Morgan now. Hey Morgan, I have John Class on the line. He's a really good customer of ours and he has a question about his order. Can you take this call and answer his question? Hey, I appreciate it. Have a good day. You know, I forgot to order sandwiches for our lunch meeting. I better get on it and call Cousin Subs. Here they are on the web. This one looks good. When I press start, my phone will go off hook and dial the local cousin's subs and I can place my order. Well, maybe I'm the new salesperson and the company just participated in a trade show. Here's a listing of all the people that scan their badge at our booth. My job's to call all of them and see if we have a potential business fit. Now that I've pared the list down, someone may import them into CRM such as Salesforce, Act, or Goldmine, which integrates with my UC suite. Oh, I just got an inbound email. Oh, John wants me to call. He has a problem with his order. I'll just highlight his phone number right from within the email and call him back. This is a small example of how the UC suite will make you better at your job and help you accomplish more. Let's turn our focus to interactions with coworkers. Here we'll take a look at the UC client that I've had running minimized in my taskbar. Let's see what we can learn about my coworkers. The right side of each button shows the status of their telephone. Gray shows the telephone is idle. Green shows the telephone is off hook. Red shows the telephone is in do not disturb. And blue shows the telephone is forwarded. The left side of each button shows a profile picture of the individual. These are great for new hires. The middle of the button, besides showing the name and extension number of your contact group members, also shows their presence, which is a virtual in and out board. At a glance, you can see by the color of the text who's in the office or out, why they're out of the office, 
and if you hover over their profile picture, you'll see more details. Garrett's out of the office until 4, and he has a note to call his cell if it's urgent. Joe is gone for the day. He's taking some personal time off. And Owen's on vacation until Monday at 8 o'clock. This information can be tied to an Outlook calendar event, changed by the user, or anyone authorized to make changes to others' presence and has a premium license. Let me show you how easy it is to change my presence, phone settings, and voicemail greeting. I'm going to let everybody know I'm going to lunch. So I'll choose the out to lunch present state. I can change my phone settings. and voicemail settings at the same time. The application remembers your last settings, so if you prefer these settings whenever you go to lunch, it's already set for you. Of course, you can override either setting. So you can see that I'm going to be using my greeting too when out to lunch. Let me play my current greeting and show you what happens after I change my presence. Hi, you've reached the voicemail of Charlie Nyman. Sorry I can't take your call right now, but if you leave me a voicemail, I'll call you back just as soon as I can. And thanks for calling. So that's my greeting one. Let me go to lunch and see what happens when someone calls me. Hi, you've reached the voicemail of Charlie Nyman. I'm out of the office right now, so if you leave me a message, I'll call you back just as soon as I get back in the office. And thanks for calling. So let's review what I've just done. Visually, Everyone sees that I'm out to lunch and my phone is forwarded, and if they hover over my profile picture, they'll get additional details. What about callers? Well now, when they call, they're going to hear that I'm out of the office. That will minimize the number of people that would zero out of my voicemail box, go to the receptionist, and ask that I be paged. They know I'm out of the office. So in summary, Coworkers and callers are better informed about my presence. If I want to call someone in my work group, I simply mouse click on their BLF button. I can right click on their BLF button and access other options such as dial their alternate phone numbers or go directly into their voicemail. What do you do if you need someone that is not in your work group? Well, here's a great solution. Here there are three directories, and this is the company directory. This shows everybody that has an extension on the phone system. You can sort by any column. You can hover to get detailed presence information. And you can search for an entry by first or last name. Let's find Lamar Edison. As I start to type Lamar's name, the directory begins to narrow the search until I reach his entry. Now I can dial his extension. I can dial his alternate numbers. I can go into his voicemail. I can add him as a speed dial button in my speed dial tab here. Or I can add him to my personal BLF list. If I don't know Lamar's first name, but I do know his last name, I can press the space bar and begin typing his last name and I'll find it in the directory. You also have a shared directory and personal directory of contacts outside of your organization. What if you're the phone attendant or another employee that needs to see more busy lamp fields than a standard user? With a premium license, you can expand your company view. 
Here's an example of an extended view showing all of the employees in this company. Note the additional columns and additional tabs. Premium users can view more of their coworkers or put them into convenient tabs so they can focus on a subset of them. UC Suite will save you time and help you better communicate with those around you. I hope you found this video informative and thank you for watching.